All right, so what is up, guys? It's your man, Wardog3 here, and yes, I'm still alive. I guess you could say I'm back for one video or so. Um, you guys have no idea how busy I've been. Like, I've literally just been, like, drowning in work, and uh, it's uh, I've had to wait, like, two days after when this DLC came out. But this, this video is about showcasing the DLC. I'm real excited to play DLC number two. The anchor had raid. This is a blind run, uh, so we're gonna see uh, how good it is. Uh, let's go ahead and do ace as always. And uh, by the way, I did get the S rank for unexpected visitor. I will have a video like that coming around. I'll put that into my Ace Combat Seven uh, playlist. But I guess I have to complete the mission on hard first, which is kind of annoying, but. I guess something I gotta do. Angerhead Bay. I feel like I've seen that before. But we'll play, we'll start off on hard. I got an A on hard mode, but let's listen in. New information. I know about confidence intervals. I took statistics. Try this. This is three strikes data before he's assigned to the LRSSG. Wonder what information that could hold. I mean, we were a boss even before we were at the LRSSG. All right. New briefing. Here we go. I love this briefing, man. This is one for the DLC. ships from the mothball fleet. This is probably to reinforce their naval power in preparation for the showdown in Barbanti. We've received intel that the Alicorn will also be joining them. I thought it went rogue. There's a possibility the Alicorn's former crew will be tasked with sabotage. Your job is to analyze the enemy's weaponry. From now on, speak only with Got the new Orson Perot over here. Uh -huh. Make your way in at super low Where have I seen this before? <laughs> Rimfaxi. <laughs> Sorry. Got a little bit of a sore throat. Wow, we get multiple return lines. All right. Certainly doesn't hurt to have one. Uh, 
hero of Cumberland Harbor is the answer. He was the captain of the battleship Tamajir at the time of the Continental War. It led the Deer Fleet, the Invincible Armada, but when the fleet was destroyed at Cumberland Harbor, so was his ship. Yet, he is the hero? He was able to bring most of his crew home with accurate damage control and precise evacuation orders. Then, there's the accident with the Alec. Nah, 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 nah. Mobius one sunk Tanager. That's ridiculous. I mean, seeing the story, I don't see how anyone would die. So, I mean, Cyclops, we know, dies like a week later, so. But, I like, looks like we got a lot of ground targets. We got some Aegis Ashore, so, all right. I don't know about that reference, man. We, Mobius one sunk the Tanager, so. Here's that hangar track again, man. Absolute beauty. Alright, so I took a uh, tricked out F-22 with the wrong special weapon for the last mission. However, it looks like we're going to go ground here. Um, what to pick? Oh, how about the Strike Eagle? I feel like I haven't used this guy a lot. And listen, the F-15 is a beautiful aircraft, so... You know what, why not? Self-forging uh, fragment submissions should be uh, very handy. Look at that thing. F-15 is a, such a beautiful aircraft. Such a nice looking aircraft. And it looks like we can't choose our paint scheme, but you know I'm fine rocking with Osea. So let's go ahead and just make sure we got the right parts on here. Alright. Uh, I feel like I'm going to expand my missile loadout because that seems important. 134. And let's go with two bomb uh, part things. So we got reload time. Definitely want more of those bombs. Should we increase the bomb power? I feel like uh, these can be very powerful already. Let's go with the range. Because you can really concentrate your firepower. So that's a pretty good looking uh, setup for this mission. So you know what? It's a, my blind run. Let's go for it. I got to show the F-15 some love. And the Strike Eagle is a uh, very capable aircraft. So... Not one I've really used all that often, though, but certainly very capable. So it looks like we're still in September here. We're doing a bunch of missions before uh, Farbanti, which makes sense because that's when the war was still going. I mean, Osea just kicked butt in, uh, in, in Farbanti. So Operation Domino, let's see how this works. Do we get another nice intro? No. Alright. Nice. Alright, two. Two targets, we can do that. Drop some missiles. Nice. Alright, these self forging fragments and munitions are working out pretty nice. Man, I'm getting some nasty frame rate drops, I think. A self-forging fragment submunitions are just too powerful. Oh man, you don't even need the high explosive part on this one. Yeah, look at that, just instant death. And the F-15 is a nice maneuverable aircraft to boot, so... Ships are moving! Trying to find their way out of here. No need to go through the whole menu. Love Longcast. They're still talking about food. Alright. 
get these hooks. Damn, I'm getting torn up by these AA guns. Looks like Count had the uh, wrong aircraft set up. My guy did. Oh, look at that. Dude, look at that beauty. Oh, man, F-15. Strike Eagle looks like a good choice for this mission. Oh, my gosh. It destroyed... I didn't even think I overlapped with that entire thing, but it destroyed all of those targets. All right, let's get that frigate. Got plenty of missiles. What is this? MV-22 Prin. Gonna gun this guy down. All right, I guess, I think we got an ace. I guess there's aces in there. Oh, we got UAVs. All right, let's go after the ground targets first. Although I might try a missile on this guy. Nah. Container box. Ah, this is where those UAVs are coming from. Are those shooting missiles at me? Hmm. They look like they were shooting their missiles at me. Ah, oh, you cheeky AH-64. Alright. I'll get helicopters. Yeah, that's kind of what I do, uh, base person. Oh shit, I got hit by a missile. I didn't even see that one coming. Alright, I gotta be a little more careful now. I should be fine, but... Just gotta be a little bit more careful. The Sea Wiz is uh, being funny. Oh, that's right. I could uh, I could return to base and actually repair my aircraft. Oh, that's although I didn't really want to do that. Ah, I tried to unguide that missile. Fucking Sea Wiz. Yeah, Sea Wiz is just shooting down every missile that I have. Alright. Ooh. More hostile ground forces. We got Aegis Ashore. Alright. Oh, I guess I only needed one missile to take it down, huh? How much time do I have? Oh, there's a lot of time, actually. Oh, that MiG-31 was trying to come in uh, head-on. Alright, we got a Quacks. Maybe I should return to base, just to be safe, because... I don't actually know... I didn't hear what he said. Oh, SU-37s. Oh, this should be fun. Uh, I messed up that. Uh, oh, I actually got something with it. They're inconsistently good. That's if I can say that. Like, even if I don't get that red marker over it. Still actually works out quite well. All right, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to I'm gonna reshape my aircraft real fast. Real fast. Just because I got hit by a missile I wasn't expecting, but it happens sometimes. Let's go ahead and do a landing here. Fortunately, I'm not playing on ace, so I can actually uh, repair my damaged aircraft. I think I'll stick with the uh, self-forging fragments of munitions because we might have to face the alicorn. Although I said that in the last campaign mission, and uh, it, we didn't end up facing it, so... And look at that F-15, just such a sexy aircraft. Beautiful. And this thing's been tearing everything to shreds, so. All right, let's stick with the, because uh, I feel like more ground targets or ships will spawn, so. Who knows, we might get another battleship Tanager.
Maybe they made a Battleship Tanager 2, kind of like the Kestrel 2. But uh, overall, uh, mission's doing pretty good right now. Nothing, uh, nothing too fancy, just demolishing targets, as a raid would uh, imply, so... Let's let's get back into the fight. Uh, yep, there's Longcaster. Still talking about food. All right. Let's. Oh, this is a Mig. I thought they were SU-37s. Ah. See, there's the ships, just like I predicted. Mm, there they are. Alright, SU-37s, I believe. Take one. Come on, I dropped my flares so I could get behind this guy. That was kind of a waste. Ah, uh, there's Torres. Man, we could really... I could use our ESM guys. I remember those guys. Those guys were freaking beasts. I don't know why I'm going after the MiGs. I mean, they're not worth more than the SU-37s. And... You see, they're just... They're annoying. And they take three missiles... Alright, come on, bro. Are you serious? Fuck this MiG. Okay, come on. How did that last missile not hit? That's BS, bro. My god, this MiG is driving me crazy. Just die. 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 Just die. Die, you fucking MiG. Oh my god, what kind of MiG is this? A MiG-31 does not have that kind of maneuverability. Finally, you fucking stupid fucking MiG. That's bullshit right there. I just wasted so much time pursuing that thing. Just because I had to fire a bazillion missiles. And I should have hit it with that last one. Alright, we're not going to crash. Yeah, fuck you, Orson Pearl. Oh, I forgot. AD tanks, of course. They can shoot down missiles with my missiles, sir. They can shoot down my missiles with their missiles. What? what? What's going on now? What's happening? Oh shit, what's going on? Alright, bye Hushin. I don't need Hushin anyway. It's not like she really does anything. Kind of just says weird stuff. Yeah, well, it's enough for three strikes. Yeah, of course he dodges it. Come on, SU-37, get in my sights. Of course! That fucking misses and I gotta get out of this zone. Of course, naturally, it's the zone I'm in. Okay. What is this UAV doing? Oh my god, I'm back in the... Wow, that was close. It's trying to get me back into the... Oh, I was going to drop my flares there, but I'm glad I didn't. I just destroyed a helicopter. Of course. 
Come on, recharge missiles. I put the extra recharge part on for a reason. See, one missile hits there. That's bullshit because I fired both of them at the same time. Oh my god, why is this UAV? Fuck off. Stop trying to keep me in the zone. This thing's being annoying. See, it's trying to get me in the zone. It's not like a fixed zone I can run away from. Sorry, guys. It's late and I haven't... Oh, shit. Did he fucking destroy his own teammate? What was that? All right, what are these guys over here? What is this? SU-35? More or less a 37, just no canards. Which ideally should make it easier to destroy. Which seemed to work there. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, fuck this UAV. Yeah, I know I'm trying to get out, but this UAV keeps trying to keep me in the circle. That's an that's okay. That's not a cool mechanic right there. That's an annoying mechanic how it tries to keep me in the circle. And it's not just like a fixed explosion like most super weapons are. Sorry, my teammates are doing something. Also, today's COD Modern Warfare's release date. Obviously, I'm not playing that because Activision are a bunch of uh, money grubbing folks. Fuck off, UAV. Oh my god, get away. I'm literally just running away from this thing. Because it's BS. Look, it's literally trying to follow me. It's like a suicide drone. Oh my god. Now that is quite the drop in frame rate. Hold on. I want to I wanna shoot at this guy. Can I gun this guy down? Can I shoot this thing down? It, it has the broken lock. Oh my god, go away. Stop. Fuck off, you UAV. Look at it. It's fucking following me. Oh my god, get away, you stupid thing. This is getting annoying, dude. Like, I literally have to fucking run away. It's literally a suicide drone that just tries to get me into the fucking lock. And that's so annoying. I literally have zero control. Soundtrack's kind of meh. Not really feeling uh, anything interesting from this one. Somehow that missed. Oh my god, are you serious? All right, that's, I'm going to oh, Of course, I stall. All right, we're pretty much wiping the floor with these horses. We're 20,000 over score, so... Captain Torres is talking about his crisp white bed sheets again. No. What's this? I got more SU thirty fives. Now everyone's talking about this stuff. I'm 
More SU-37s, huh? Oh, it's these people again. With pleasure. What? Missiles don't have stealth capabilities. Stop that. Stop that nonsense right now. I don't get what's going on. I'm not sure if this is just... Alright, that was a good attempt right there, but I'm not sure if this is just plot or what. I see a UAV wandering around. I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to kill these guys with uh, this jamming. Although I could certainly use your help right about now, Count. And of course, this motherfucking UAV. Fuck off. Thank you. Yo, this guy's got 4 AAM. Oh shit. I had to dump the last of my flares. Not necessarily a bad thing, but it's gonna be a little a little bit more difficult. Good thing I repaired. I'm so focused on trying to gun these guys down, but they got somehow they have jamming aboard an SU forty seven. See you're just dodging everything. Oh, that missile. How do these guys have jamming? That's not a thing on SU-47s. Fuck off, UAV. Oh my god, get away! Get away, uh, you fucking UAV. Fuck off. That's so annoying. Why is Namco doing bullshit like that? If I don't want to shoot it down, I shouldn't have to shoot it down. Oh, come on. Of course they're jamming. Yeah, I know. This is Gelb Part 2. This jamming is so annoying. It doesn't even make any sense because a fucking 47 doesn't carry jamming devices. Come on. How many times do I have to hit this guy? Dude, that's how many missile hits on a 47? The answer is too many. What the hell? That's not an SU-47. Can't do that. Fucking jamming. I wish I could see. Come on. Oh my god. This jamming is so annoying. It doesn't even make any sense. Ugh.
Of course, the um, the fucking jamming. I'm I'm ready to pound this guy with missiles. Look at that. I pumped him full of Vulcan, but Let's see where that gets me. Jesus, it's like it was frozen in midair. 69 or 66,900. I have no idea what's going on. You know, I like Count. He's a good man, and I like to have him as his wingman, so I can't blame him. From what the fuck is he doing anyway? He keeps flying around. What are you doing, Count? All right, well, that's a mission accomplished with a little bit of rage involved. But I'm not quite sure what. Yeah, of course, we don't get to fight the Alicorn. That's going to be saved for the last campaign mission. Well, I like the first phase of this mission, not so much the second. The uh, jamming wasn't necessarily my. I don't. It doesn't even make sense. Uh, uh, Burka does not have jamming, so I don't know why it was existing. So I guess I had to use a little bit of gun skill there. But as you can see, I still got my gun skill. A Vulcan is much better than the chunky Russian machine gun. We'll see if we got the A here. Or S. Alright. I don't care, man. We destroyed the Erosian forces. That's all that matters. I'm really not sure what just happened here, but we did get the S rank, so first time this time around we got the S rank, so can't complain about that. Not really sure what's going on here, although we got a cutscene. And David North from Osea, good guy. For example, the shells from long range anti air fire came in on the press trajectories. Look, the estimated energy output of the railgun is 500 megajoules at least. Fired at minimum energy trajectory, 
range is over 3,000. They hit a powerful rail cannon aside from their main guns. It's almost like Stonehenge. Mobile Stonehenge. Also, this. The Aliporn was in harbor at Anchorhead for approximately 10 minutes. They couldn't have loaded SLPMs. They loaded something smaller. Smaller? With a smaller and yet a powerful weapon. Tactical nukes. Close. The answer is tactical nuclear shells. Nuclear shells? No way. Hey, hey, you got that question right. Nah. I missed the shell part. Quiet. They'll likely attack our bases on the east coast. Their target's O-Red. The OCN That's not how you pronounce our red. Here's a question. What's a situation where nuclear deterrence doesn't work? Please, guy, I've had enough of this. Oh, only if terrorists have the nukes. Correct. Damn, Skull. Yeah, I'm gonna trip you for this. So we're after a Russian submarine. It's a terrorist. It's a no. No, they're erusions, all right. HQ tells me Arusha's justification is that the Alicorn mutiny. They're filthy erusions. The Arusian military cannot be held responsible for the... Oh, yes, they are. They are most certainly are. They intend on dropping a nuke on the Ocean capital of Ored. It's our red. Oh, my God. Just exactly who are we fighting? We're fighting Arusha, idiot. The correct term is terrorist or irregular military. But I have a different name for them. An enemy to be stopped at all costs. Correct. Man, what is up with these pronouns? I remember at the end of the main campaign, fucking, uh, what's her name? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Avril. She said, Yukdebania. Like, come on now. That's not how you pronounce our red. Oh, Red. I think Grimm did the same thing in Ace Combat 5. We're a stone's throw away from O Red. No, no, no. You don't mispronunciate the capital of Osea like that, man. It's Al Red. But, all right. So, on hard mode, we got 66,900 points. That seems pretty good to me with the uh, Strike Eagle. Um, so, there you go, guys. That's my blind run of Anchorhead Raid. We'll have to wait uh, another month for the final campaign mission, which is the 10-year uh, nuclear plan or something like that. $10 million plan. Uh, some some sort of 10-something uh, plan. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I fixed the audio, as you could tell. And, uh, yeah, that's what I got for you guys. So, like, comment, and uh down below and uh, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll see you when I 